Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the conversation. Uh, so, Kunge, uh, on cultural resistance and contagious objects. Uh, in conversation with Masimbawati, uh, whose exhibition, So Kunge as It, opened on the 30th of November at Smart Gallery in Rosebank in Johannesburg. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about um, what it means. Uh, to exist, I suppose, in an in-between space and um, what it means to pretend to be something that you are not. Uh, my first question, oh, welcome, Masimba. Thank you. Um, my first question is, uh, what inspired the title and the, the body of work so Okay. Uh, and this open never can be one of my images. Unfortunately, we can't show because that's not project. Pane pane vanguwa na mukaneri, we can be one of my images. Eh, show ya ju. Ndoda ndi zio tundo tangera pa kusa nangora. Jaka bopo se angupa Instagram, bisha ane ba Facebook. I want it two, three. All right. Teachers, I'm out. It's no concern. Boys, it's easier to put it to reference my images. But in this young water, or an idea, yeah, we care to your daughter. So it's basically a body of work in my sculptures, and we're going to seven, which are freestanding. And as uh, some of you may know, my materials is uh, mainly found material. Saka, so, uh, I have uh, my figures and then my spears, which are freestanding on a metal base, which is about a meter in radius. Three, can out four of them, and a television monitor, iri papo, and it's playing a video. It will play, but will not play continuously. Mamwe uh, Acho Anima objects uh, ranging from uh, uh, American football vest to American football helmets, Kuma musical instruments, which I've been doing for a while. Ne Mangoma objects, Akaida Sema baskets, uh, a lot of copper tubing. Uh, most of my musical instruments are ripo anoto function, anoto shanda. They can be activated in performance. But uh, in this exhibition, I think I only activated one of them. Uh, the exhibition also had a performance aspect to it. I was performing with one of the sculptures. I think it was about a 15 minute performance. Uh, video I said, I better edit, but we will share it on uh, social media. But I want to come back to the theme of the exhibition, so Kunge. So the idea uh, yeah, was to present something that is almost in between. Chinchinoita so Kunge, you know, and then we uh, stop there. Uh, so whatever comes from Beripe so Kunge is something that is uh, uh, some, somewhat undefined. So it's, a, it's an idea that uh, I come to associate with resistance. It's a form of resistance. When people do not um, expect something from you, but you give them something or you don't give them something. Or it's a way of presenting yourself. You know, because people want you to be either black or white or to be either yes or no. But it's very uncomfortable for people for you to occupy sometimes middle ground. Zimengwa, those some children are hybrids, anonesa. They have certain attributes that are very hard to deal with. Neurus, pana no za neurus here. Neurus is a hybrid between a donkey and a horse, and it. That animal does not take instruction very easily. Tese tunozi zeyoti kana magapopa neurus is not nese, and it. 
So the, the nature of hybrid is very resistant in itself. Uh, the hybrid, they are known to resist even weather conditions, sometimes even disease. Those are not even bear woods may not develop what they are hybrids because they are trying to resist a certain disease can the condition can uh, so the idea is based on that uh, space. You can go to the middle ground in between space. So we can try to explore what it means to exist in that space. Uh, but now talking specifically about the work, mm. um, specifically about the sound work, mm -hmm. why the sound? Uh, okay. I, I've known you for a long time as a 3D artist, okay. sometimes performance artist. Okay. Uh, the sonic element is very new to me, that is. Okay. So why that inclusion? So uh, we have not known me long enough, uh, <laughs> obvious. <laughs> Saka, Nyae uh, Sound, I've been fascinated by sound. Ndikata sa portfolio rangura udara. Work and I tangery sculpture, but it had a reference to sound. As early as 2003, Saka so fascination in sound was always there. Um, even though time yo I never activated work here, I never played the work or tried to make sound out of it. Uh, but I think three years ago, and Obandaga Tanga Kufunga Guti. Sound itself um, is very interesting because talking about resistance, um, sound chinche guti chika exist upon a black. You are all sitting under the sound of my voice, and it. But Kanata pays a banana. The only time you can get the sound is through a recording. Sagapane chime chinuchiri elusive about sound, where you cannot you cannot really grasp it and define because it's. It's always going. Saga, so, uh, I was fascinated in the element of sound. And it can actually the resistance, but the sound element is because because of some resistance movements are associated with sound. And it, there is a sound of the first chimurenga. There is a sound of the second chimurenga. There is a sound of the Hong Kong protest Arwitika as we speak today. There's a sound of that, and it, it be, the sound becomes music, but Zimengua it just exists in the state of being a sound. Saka, even Pakawia, my British monom 1890, they came with a sound. There was a sound of, colo, of, of uh, the empire, there was a sound of colonization. Napoleon Paganda with Egypt, to occupy Egypt. Aka he took with him a sound scholar. When I so Zivan is a sound, I said a sound. The question is why? Why do you, if you are a military uh, uh, person, why would you include a sonic element in the sound, in, in what you're doing? So you begin to see that sound is very important, is a very important part of our lives. And it Mkoma Mozech Koero and Bukra Waganyora. And I think it's, uh, you can help me out. I think it's about uh, music in, uh, in Rhodesia, Canada, Zimbabwe. Yeah. And it, the sonic aspect of resistance or, or how, how the sonic element can be used in military terms. Saganyae sound, I think, Inyae uh, Gutoti, I see no one more art. Even though Ernest Kwane ran the sound studies, which is maybe 10 years old, but it's, it's older than that if we, we, we think of it. Saka, I think in Chitaura, the culture and resistance, we always have to talk about sound. Saka, to include a sound in my work, I think it was just a, a progression of things. It was a natural progression of things. I was going to get there at some point. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and back to cultural resistance, mm -hmm. um, notice that in some of the work mm -hmm. there are um, issues of confusion mm -hmm. and dissonance. Yes. Why particularly those two things? 
Uh, so confusion, I think, we can talk about it in two ways. Confusion can be something that you can use a way, away, you know, as, as a tool. Or maybe you can weaponize confusion. And it, uh, and that's one part of confusion. Cause that confusion, you don't even know to be confused by the job. Which is, I find myself in that state many, many times. And it's the only no better confused here, but in I get confused many, many times. Uh, but I think what's interesting about confusion is to to be able to, when you are in confusion yourself, to be able to be comfortable with it and to be, to begin to explore what it means to be in that place of confusion, to be op honest with yourself. And it's when you get to move out of the confusion. But it's when you get to just accept your department over my regime. And so there are two ways. You can whip, weaponize it, you can use it, but you can also exploit as a human being, being honest to yourself with Panab and Dogudo Farwanizim. I'm confused here. So I, I embrace that too, you know, as an artist in my work, that there are so many elements that I'm dealing with, and sometimes I am just confused by them. So, how does all this uh, lead to uh, the situation here uh, as a nation and also uh, for artists in the art community? Okay. Uh, Saga, I think Pegutanga Tijita or is a cultural resistance. Drogon, uh, I would define Abijana what, what I understand by cultural resistance. So I can teach the cultural resistance a kind of resistance in which you are using your culture to contend, kind of to negotiate with um, an oppressive force. And in uh, a time Zimbabwe Pagaita period of circulate my WhatsApp. Emma conversations are very disjointed. American am she, I'm too good and gariya. So to me, I'm not going out there. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do my peri even areas van not ice cream zino dura kuti chifambise nyaya dzemsangano kana tri pakati pekubata ishwa uye zvekare ma 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 mafuta ari kudiwa mumushini anowanzoshanda pamushini emanyuwa kuti kunodza mushini yacho tinotsika uchi pane pane kutenderedza kama singa haya but pane yacho tinotsika uchi dzese uchidaiso saka zviri kunze hanzi cooking oil ga South Africa quality at Joan's Yakanyana Stereo Goodzik. Mutu remember time, Emma, Yama, what's up, you are? And did you? If you think about what was happening there, one 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 and yards ahead out of Raga. My run is really digger, but it's not our regal in yards of Pachena. A story, and did it. What are the other ways in which people can talk about issues when they can talk about it openly? And it. Pane means and say, I want to have a lot of tools that are not as soon as you do it, come marae. It's a good tea. Mugadona said, Zam Sapunga, I'm not one. One is our double tower, a pump sort of my tongue, a wing, can a pump sort of my battery, a man's my, can a pump sort of my farm syrup, which was it. As a matter of an eater, she no one gets a single chip bend. And it Saga, if you look at Nyayo, you move a man on the Bata Panya, and do not ask among my dances, Akanga, a Chishandi Squang was the one, Pane Bende Jerusalem, Munizia Bende Jerusalem. A Bende Jerusalem is a very big part of my work. And it's funny video, we show up with which which is that a, a project that I did. 
it was one of those ways in which people were they were saying something and doing something as it appears sekunge and it zvineta sekunge vanhu haruti vara nyaya ice cream but nyaya haruti vara ice cream and it saka that's another level of madzitade gure daka bvira kare achizvita izvo mukatarisa isati yakunzi jerusalem yanga ichinzi mbende and it 1910 my british akabha bana zvikanza pana chini chinzi jerusalem it's now criminalized and it ya eh madzitade gure da but all right tani imwe dance new one eh yakunzi jerusalem and it but what they did is they just changed the name of it and kept the dance and it saka inyaya kuti kana yo ukaona kuti hausi kukwanisa kuresista fair fair pane pane nzira yeredza unokwanisa kuita nadzo zvinhu zvako kuti zvichiko pa pa parola usika and it tikati arisa even in your individual lives there is there are ways in which all of you practice cultural resistance in a way you know even tone your voice chai chai dzimengua and it even kunyepedzera ndine one of the best example is gareth nyandoro my my friend uh, i've worked with him for many years kana ine zvinhu zvaari kunyunyuta nazo ano anogona ko buy za unga asiri kukunzwisisa kuti kuti chi and it it's a feigned ignorance and it unogona kumtsana ngurira ka but anogona kuti kuto utanga rutovharwa but what is trying to tell you is i don't and skuda kuti hore ne zvauri ta hore ne zvazvo saka at the end it may frustrate you saka dzimwe ngwa culture resistance is about just registering that element ekuti sometimes i'm just pretending that i'm not understanding you cannot ndogona one of the things that he did i know no kakuya kune zvino stereke but it was not what anga singabate nguwa i bata nguwa but he's trying to show you in a small way that i'm not happy with this thing and it uh there are many examples pane vana anofamba achidonza makumbo dzime nguwa and it it's not what ava gonofamba zvakanaka but there is a subtle element there Saka sokunge is about that. Sokunge is about things that look as if but they are they are not. That's the idea. Okay. Um, now maybe you want to talk specifically about uh, the work in Shiri 1 and Shiri 2. What is that in reference to? Hapana imere. Iyo ye ye. Bogo zwe kiyo yo kai ndeya kudhara. Ya ndeya kudhara but ndirongo ndotara imwe. Hapana imwe. All right. But is it might not be connected to to this conversation. I mean muruzi dere. All right. Saka ndo saka tanzi data ngati ne my images. Uh, because work is my fencing swords and akashandisa anga ari pa a small block of wood in a mavire skateboard and mutu uyu ga mpangara if i remember and ma wandranda ka uita muti we pane munhu akandigira mpangara iwoyo uh my days and i did pull up and then i kept it for a long time because of shandisa uh so it looks like you need to shiri but it looks like something that you can play with is a little undefined it looks a little dangerous because in a kind of buyer but also a little playful because in a maviri a skateboard with a particular color i think it's red and blue uh saga so i think it's there's still the same idea of 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 combining my forms akasiana to make something that really is uh, it kind of resists definition could be chi even though you can see elements that's why i wanted you to talk about ah okay all right okay yeah um 
maybe we also want to talk um, a little bit is it or uncomfortable is it okay um, yeah all right eh pane mutauro chimanje manje pane wede kuti ma gap at the toes, I mean, the toes we saw where they were able to get funny gap for a Buddha. And then, Saga, in between, in my gaps. And then, Panam Chinda knows the Malcolm Gledo, Anne, and Unora Mabuk, American and Magambo wearing home Chinde. And then, I can only David and Goliath, Yano Taura. I David in a Goliathian Bible. But I tower in a different way. You could see David as an underdog. And it knows Goliath as the, like, uh, you know, the, the opposite of an, an underdog. But here I know tower in Mufunge in this story in a different way. Um, and he's talking about systems. I know that I have my systems, my wombe, and my weaknesses, and my gaps. And only the weak people can find those gaps and occupy those gaps. And it. So here I know that I have a story of David and Goliath. Goliath, I can get any weakness, young guy, now. Um, he says, "Could he?" Of course, this is speculation, but he says that Goliath has a condition in the acromegaly. In it, it is very abnormal. Even if you look, it's a medical condition. In it, it is a very body steric. But in it, condition, it messes up with your vision. Which means, my one error is not going to be a little compromised. Um, Saga, a small target like David is hard to see. And it, Saga, Nyayake, Anunga, Jitawara, Nenyaye, my weakness is RM system and how people take advantage of that. And there's been uh, a lot of writing about how um, weak people, not minorities, occupy the gaps in society. And it, um, there are things that Mumemuna, Anorara, Street Umum. I know Zia was also Zia well, and it. I don't want to survive, but when a door up a week, but it was gone because they have identified gaps, and it's also part of their uh, present situation because they are considered weak. They can see those. You know, our warning, my gaps you are. So, as a personal story, but when I was in university, you I do things were very expensive. But I found ways of uh, eating for free and not paying rent. And it, but it's only me who saw those things. And it, because they, maybe they don't need to think as deep as I needed to think. Couldn't do survival, say, but my gaps are bad. And it, for 465 days, I did not go to university because I discovered that no one got a studio, Marco, and a pan and mobile phones. And it, but that's a gap, and it. And when I went out, a Panama conference, I got one day to no one knows, got lunch, you don't even have to buy. And then go register conference, the mates, the department, the mates, when a conference, doing that, go when there's free lunch. And it, yeah, my gap, sir. So this is how you survive a system which is very powerful. You look at gaps and you get into the gaps. Also, Zimbabwe, 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 system ends. We saw the same. Vanuaru, Kwanzaa, and it. Black market is a gap, and it. In market, you would be, you know, those mirror yega, you know, those fire yega. So no matter how strong the system is, in my weaknesses, in my gaps, like populating the gaps, kind of living in the gaps, I think it's a privilege of the weak. Yeguti unokwanza kuona places which some other privileged people cannot see, and you can take advantage of those. I think I'm speaking to the choir, bana. I think Muruzi has and down. And Muruzi, any of my gaps, 
there are things that you, you have done in your life where you have survived or made it because you had to, to do that. Sakandonya ya ye magepsi and then she tara more, more, more. Okay, you haven't answered how uncomfortable. Okay. So, uh, I think the longer you begin to to know how to live in gaps, cannot out take and it becomes comfortable. And it, uh, but also, um, I think to the system is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to the system too, because uh, system meaning that we do is that we or who must come to say, but I can't do this with Sisa. Saka, it becomes if something that is uncomfortable for the system because they cannot figure it out. So I think it's both ways. It's uncomfortable to you sometimes, but in the form you get used to occupying the gaps. It becomes a lifestyle, but the system becomes uncomfortable with you. Saga, um, I think there are a few artists who are no practice as sound artists. Um, Saga, sound, the, the sound scene is not very big. It's a, it's, it's a small scene. So there are a few people that I, I look at. There's a gentleman known as Raven Chacon. So Raven Chacon Anoba ku New Mexico, a place in on the Alba Alba Creek. Saga Tendaga Sangana Nai at one point. Um Karam sees a collective and the post commodity. Pan collective and post commodity. I get a week around Mexican American border. Um he was part of that. Saga Anita sound uh Yaganyanya, which is different from music. Uh so I want to find my people who actually practice um, sound. Um, then there is a gentleman I see. And then when I can go start again. But let me describe his work. Um, I eat a work here my instruments. And he would activate them with uh, sometimes his band. So the last week he got before he died, um, I think some of you would know the name, but I don't know if I would describe it. Aga Mazi trumpets, Mahombe, and then he they called them acaphones, and then he had uh, people come to play those uh, trumpets. Um, and work again, and your Dilane, my musicians, my African American musicians. Um, yeah. So those are some of the few people. Paneva Mueo, but no Sangano, Navo, a Vanuva Chungeto sound. Some of them fall in the category of noise, you know, the noise art, which I don't think I identify with that uh, because I think it's a different thing. Okay. Um, 
So in the past, you just see, our source materials in the past is different from now. We started practicing time with my China and that I want us to take. So we had a lot of remnants from the Victorian era. And it, we had a lot of things that people threw away, which were from a different time. So it was easy to get some of those things. Sometimes you not even was going to be in the antique shop, can I go second hand shop, you'd find these things like a any Japanese boys in Zuma China, Zunoneza, Azigari, Saga, even if it's thrown away sometimes, life, uh, shelf life, Yajuapana. Saga, we used to pick things for free uh, for, for a long time. But then, Zunjatanga Guneza, and then we would buy things. Sometimes you'd exchange things. But when people know what you're doing, they bring things. I think I had a very big collection of horns and scows, I showed it here in this very place. My horns, my cows from different animals. It was like uh, I had a big studio that time, Papo Love, so I had collected a mountain of them. One, one was the auto with us, so people bring things kwauri. Sometimes you butter trade with people. Uh, sometimes you do a little work for some people and they, they give you uh, those things. So I think there are different ways uh, now which I find. Sometimes people bring things, from, but you actually have to pay people. Sometimes you don't go pure and get a lucky. Ah, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. But as a way to put this is that there's only really positive aspect and negative aspect of the world. So in water resistance, which is a good thing, but in other spaces, water resistance is very negative. So I wanted to just fully appreciate it from your point of view. Okay. Saga and the Ndodaguya Pam Funzuenu, this in a winning way to positive and out to negative. And then we are able to fungaize in your resistance. Saga in any do not fungaize resistance is not only not as a positive thing and out as a negative thing. It is necessary more to resist as you go and it. Uh, but in order to we are from Vunzo when you with this way, so I can do no longer pane different forms of resistance. Talk on what are two right now. Pano gona ita resistance ita confrontational. We agudo ti isusu ita agudo enda wondo tukino sunugra nyik isozi. Cause is that resistance ita agudo trumba medu trukuta rodat skufara ne warutonga. Saga susu kana tiri basa kwe duga tuno pota tiri tase tiri sangani sa pet petrol ya wonezi ni parafin andiri kutwa ramba wati tenga pe wati tungo tiri tenga ra petrol susu andiri ga kana tiri kafsha we susu ga ngati tiri wanze ika na wuti miripiri andiri ga kutwa vavi westerek saka pane resistance yego tiri it's very subtle. In any industry interested in resistance, it is subtle. Industry interested in never know when we sabotage system. And industry interested in never interested in never know be a one bowed upper. Achi ziyau ni ufambu yangu achi chazo doona ichi. And industry interested interested in never know when no nyora zimbo. Eh, wachi taura neze chirauro. And it ga. I see a basketna so to arrange it a uro. Panazo are utaur. Now the resistance yo iri sustainable because systems in Wengwaika Zia would endorse a murguita, they will react in certain ways. So, cultural resistance, I think, from my own point of view, in a good decision, it is sustainable. It's not going to wait for a very long time, it is underground. Then, it's also when you go on the Iowa. Sat now zondo zangamji tangu wa sisi. Saga and you wana is a positive kana ut negative. Dunia wana is you know in different forms. 
uh, and for me, I'm really interested in that. For me, I'm going to negotiate that. So, so I think I'm going to negotiate as a resistance. That's what I am interested in. And this is going to be another one. So when you bend down, go to Rome, can I open that? Can I go to something? ina angu magasa ndina mchuku za exhibition ya kambo vara ublawayo ya 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 owe na maseko it's a way of resisting that the artist decided with those under the weed inina i think as a person and this and this who said the kogo if the if i know myself well I'm not confrontational. Uh, but Kudara, Shandai, and as you could see, Dream Pan, I'm a fighter, I'm going to get a pair, I'm going to draw a group of fight. But I'm going to see 1 a.m. to show you when you tell me get ready, and I'm going to see how I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready. So when I was there, I was going to get ready. But I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get ready. Saga, I don't think Kutinini, I'm that kind of artist where we don't know one side, we don't know how to do it, we don't know how to do it, we don't know how to do it, I don't think I'm that kind of artist. I don't think any of my guys is just the way I'm wired. Saga, I prefer, don't know how to wake, but I don't know how to do it, but I don't know how to do it. What's happening? Pame, pame, pame. There is something more important to talk about than that thing, you know. Uh, but pana trungu hypothesize as well. Saga, and I think that that's the way that I can respond to that. Yeah. Yes, Victor. That's a good question, uh, but I'm not. I'm not in the Western world, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, but I think Mvunzo are kosher because Mama objects are no nakiza kunog are interesting kunog. I'm not gonna say they're interesting across the border, even in South Africa. Saka. I think when the crisis, I'm not gonna because uh, Chimichino, Chano Shan Saguno, one man, and Wakura Chichona every day. What to show what you be the same by Mao? But Kuno Gujin is when the arch is chagaping guys. Saka, it's also about an audience and how they, res they respond. Uh, but I think uh, crisis mango. I had a few things that were working for me because there's a way that I combine objects with other objects that Zimengua is, it doesn't become about that single object. It becomes about the intersection with the Sangha and Awara Saka Chi. So I think I think that's how I kind of uh, got through that crisis. But that's a very important question.
somebody say that you have no guts, uh, <laughs> if you're not confrontational. But um, I'm thinking of some, again, some of the work that I've seen that you've done before, which had some of the religious elements which tended to make me believe that maybe you're a religious person. Wouldn't you say that that's it's also your religious beliefs that lead you to that non confrontational position? Okay, uh, I may not be religious in the role of drudgery. I think I would, I would use a uh, spiritual. Um, so I have two people that I, I are very fascinating Mafungirangu, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Talking about Abbe Mzore Wapamwe na Pamina Robert Mugabe. Saga van Andoatarsa in ways in which they are trying to solve a problem. Malcolm X Maserat no meter was very confrontational, very direct. He did not mince his words, he said exactly what he wanted to say. Um, but then Martin Luther King was coming from a, an angle, he would either negotiate, Zino. Um, and uh, I think one of America they enjoy a certain level of liberty. Negudakwe civil rights movement, yaka, which was spearheaded by Martin Luther King. But Mgadauta Rizaka, Zaka, it was not started by him. Malcolm, I, I, I feel like uh, Martin Luther King continued something that was started by Malcolm X, but in a different way. Talking about that is uh, Gandhi. Gandhi was negotiating a lot. Ne Fungwa Zaka is a non resistant, non violent resistance. And the Tunona Marizaut Archibald, the British Empire, ended up uh, leaving India, Negudakwe, the way that he was doing things. Saga, I think philosophically, and Rimun are not believer in negotiation as a, as a form of resistance. It might. I think it can be spiritual too. Uh, yesterday, Tagabat when Mapuri searching on shoot a video umbari, and they wanted to could it bad remari, but uh, people who know me they know good at the bad remapurisa. To know to know negotiate and now we go seek Ravan to see ya. Vagado to see ya to kind of snow badar. Nangandina combo Japika and some two students. I don't see them here. So that's the nature of things, the nature of how I, I deal with things as a, I think philosophy um, I, I negotiate until I get that thing. Even material yangu, patika tanga taka mutanga churwa dombo, susu poli, sculpture, but uh, that was not uh, I, how I wanted to do things. I thought there was another way to negotiate with materials. Saga is it, it, something that comes through my personality and my, my philosophy. Could he, there are other ways in which you can break down a system or which you can resist. Uh, it's not prescriptive though. Ingori, one of the ways that I think might work in terms of approaching life. life. Yeah. Any other question? One last one. Because I've been looking at my young artists mm -hmm. when they are talking about their work, mm -hmm. they are very bold to say certain things. Mm -hmm. So, what advice would you give to them? I know you have said yourself that you know my cards are my dinner, but you are also a part of the show and I'm going to start a set up to the sky. But yet you find that you know, my issues they are working with, they are issues that are very sensitive and also they have to be take caution as an artist. What advice would you give um, to fellow artists in terms of um, working in service? I know Tani Mamacha is like very interesting and you know, have to be able to show you what is out. I need to work with this certain subject so that you can know learn what is happening. But what advice would you give? All right, so I'm going to clarify a statement that I don't have a gutter. 
and it is good or any cultural resistance. Yeah. Uh, Saka Karanjita, I don't have guts. Uh, it's another aspect of Sokunge. It might not mean that that I don't have guts. It might mean something else. It might mean kuti maybe my guts are choga. I don't want to go to boot instead of of ku 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 bonnet. And it, uh, then I am going to advise I think that's a very big question. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. But I, I, I think what makes, what makes an artist is um, the ability to have a unique voice, the ability to be able to speak or express yourself in, in your own way, honestly. So I, I, don't in, I don't want to give advice for people not to be bold or, or people to be not to be, or to be shy. I, I don't think I have an answer for, for that. But uh, what I may say is, I think you must do what is very honest uh, to you. Like I've told you my life, you can see that from a very early age, this is how I think, I negotiate things, this is how I work. I'm very honest to that process. But it's different from someone like maybe Tendai and Peter. Saga, I, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes in Dunofungo in Zimbabwe, we actually need art that disturbs things. Sometimes people are playing too safe. Sometimes we are just seeing nice paintings on the wall, you know, and that's it. And sometimes I don't even want to go to an exhibition because I know there's nothing that is going to provoke me. So maybe on the other hand, I actually think sometimes that the waters need to be troubled a little bit. But also in a smart way, Neguti uno wana And I, I don't want to be uh, quoted as, as encouraging that. So I think there are ways in which artists can do that. Because that's what artists have always done for generations. Do you have uh, one last thing that you want to say? About? Yes, one last thing. Oh, this one. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I let's think of twenty twenty one. Saka, I think Basarang is to come up with something and then present it to the National Gallery. So, yeah, I think Don Mamira is with the Yeah. Maybe not exactly one last thing. Okay. But maybe my one last question is mm -hmm. what are you, what, what does the future look like after Sokonge? Is it, are you going to continue uh, with, in that same vein, or are you thinking of maybe diverting to other things? Uh, I feel like, um, I think my, my work is moving more towards uh, sculpture with performance and, and sound. I think for the past two years, one of the things that I, I, one of the good things that happened in my practice is I found a way of combining everything that is important to me, to my practice. So I, I discovered that in, in performance you can have all the elements that I was trying to explore uh, for many years. So I think my work is going towards that direction where it's going to be sculpture uh, and there's going to be performance and there's going to be an element of sound in there. Yeah. Thank you, Masanda, for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you um, very much. And um, I hope you all have a, a wonderful holiday. We'll be back here on the 6th of January, and we'll have another round of other conversations. Interesting, I hope.
Thank you for coming. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.